Chicago police are releasing new statistics on the violence we saw over the holiday weekend. A significant number of shootings reported, including a deadly outbreak of gunfire in Englewood. Dane Placco joins us live with a look at some of these numbers. Dane? Yeah, the 4th of July weekend is traditionally one of the most violent weekends here in the city of Chicago. And while there were still a lot of shootings and murders this past weekend, the numbers are actually a lot better than last year. Now, Chicago police say nine people were murdered between Friday morning and Tuesday night. That's compared to 19 over the same period last year. The numbers of shootings also dropped from 91 last year to uh, 57 this year. Interim Police Superintendent Fred Waller says the reduction in crime likely had something to do with the heavy rain this weekend, but he also credited better planning and the hard work of Chicago police officers. Now, those numbers do not include a mass shooting that took place around 5 o'clock this morning in Englewood, where an all-day street party turned violent. Six people were shot, including two men who died ages 21 and 27. Neighbors say the outdoor party with fireworks and booze had been going on for hours. And today, Waller said, in hindsight, police should have broken it up earlier. But we want them to have a good time, but not to impede upon other people's rest and, and their peace when you start going into 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. So we need to do a better job of dispersing some of those large gatherings. Now, as for security at the big NASCAR inaugural race here in Chicago over the weekend, the police say they've been planning for that for a year, and they were very pleased with the, uh, the way it turned out. Live at police headquarters, Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago.